All right, Shalom, Israel. Hey, this 15 minutes with the captains on Captain Hoshia. Soldier, you're right. And y'all, and today's topic is things pleasing to God. And we're going to take you through the scriptures and we're going to show you some things that's pleasing to God. Let's open up with Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, verse 16. Sirach chapter 2, verse 16. Listen to this, Israel, read. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. They say those that fear the Lord, they're going to seek which is well pleasing unto him, read. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. That's how you, that's proof in the pudding again that these Christians don't love God. When you love God, you feel with the law. That's why a lot of y'all keep saying, why are you always talking about the law, the law, the law, the law? Read that one more time, read. They that fear the Lord will seek them which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him. And they that love him, read, shall be filled with the law. They say they're going to be filled with the law. Now look, let's go from there to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9, verse 18, y'all. I mean verse 10, verse 10. My fault. Hold on. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9, verse 10. That was the wrong one. Verse 10. Yeah. Oh, send her out of thy holy heaven. Send her out. Who is the her? The her is talking about wisdom, read. And from the throne of thy glory, that being present, she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto thee. So you got to ask for wisdom to know what's pleasing to the Most High. And what is our wisdom, y'all? Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. So Solomon said, ask for wisdom to know what's pleasing to God. Read it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nation. So the laws is our wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nation. Read. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. That's it right there. So look, in order to know what's pleasing to God, you gotta go within his laws. Now y'all, we're gonna do, we're gonna show you some things that's pleasing to the most high God. Let's open up with first, let's go to First Thessalonians chapter two. Matter of fact, let's start with Colossians three and 20. Colossians two, three and 20. Let's get some things that's pleasing to the most high God. Three and twenty. Colossians chapter three verse twenty. Read. Children, obey your parents in all things. Read. For this is well pleasing unto the Lord. And when you honor your mother and father, that's pleasing to the Most High God. So you little children at home that's listening, when you honor your mother and father, that's pleasing to the Lord. Let's get First Thessalonians chapter two, verse four. Let's get some more things pleasing to God. And not only under your mother, father, under your elders, under the Most High, because the Most High is our Father, that's our Heavenly Father. That's pleasing to Him when you show honor to Him. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3. 4, verse 3. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. 3. For this is the will of God. Even your sanctification. So this is the will of God. This is what sanctifies you. This is what makes you clean. Read. That, that ye should abstain from fornication. That you abstain from fornication. Read. That every one of you know, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Believe it or not, y'all, that's pleasing to God. That you abstain from fornication. That's his will. You know what I'm saying? By the fact, starting read verse 1. Verse 1. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. So that's pleasing to God when you abstain from fornication. Read that again, verse 3. Verse 3. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. So that's pleasing to God right there. Let's get another one. Let's go to uh, verse, uh, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 35, verse 3. In the apocalypse. Let's get another thing that's pleasing to God. Sirach chapter 35 and verse 3. Please. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. When you depart from wickedness, when you forsake your sins, the scripture said that's a thing pleasing to the Lord. Read. And to forsake unrighteousness. To forsake unrighteousness. Your sin, read. Is a perpetuation. It earns favor. 
with God. You want to have favor with God? You want to do what's pleasing to God? Depart from wickedness. Forsake unrighteousness. Let's go from there to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. First, Let's go to another thing that's pleasing to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. Read. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. You hear that? The world by wisdom knew not God. Read. It pleased God by the foolishness. Hold on, it do what? It pleased God. It pleased God, read. By the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Believe it or not, y'all, us preaching this word, it pleases God. It pleases the Most High. A lot of y'all say, oh, okay, preaching is foolishness. But guess what? God said, read that real quick, verse 25. Verse 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Even though preaching might be foolishness to God, it's wiser than men. It's wiser than men. It pleases God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Let's get Hebrews 13, verse 16 now. Matter of fact, let's start at 15 with that. Hebrews 13, verse 15. So what we're going over today, things that are pleasing to the most high. Ways to please the Lord. One of the things we read, honor your mother and father. Guess what? That's a law. That pleases God. To depart from sin, to depart from unrighteousness. That pleases God when you forsake your sins. When you stop breaking his commandments and keeping his commandments. That's pleasing to him. To abstain from fornication. To know how to possess your vessel. Your vessel is talking about your body. With sanctification and honor. That's pleasing to the most high God. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. When you praise God continually, when you pray it, and offer that sacrifice of praise to God continually, that's pleasing to him. Read on. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Read. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. See, he's well pleased with that. When we communicate with one another often, when we do good and help one another, that pleases the Lord. That pleases the Most High God. Let's go from there to Numbers chapter 11, verse 1. Now I got to bring this one out. Numbers 11, chapter 11, 11 and verse 1. Read. And when the people complain, it displeased the Lord. You hear that? When the people complain, it displeased the Lord. Complaining is not pleasing to the Lord. The Lord wants you to be content. Go to 1 Timothy chapter 6. Godly and content. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 6. Read. But godliness will content. You hear that? The Lord don't want you to complain, keep the laws and be content. Read. It's great gain. It's a great gain right there. Read on. For we brought nothing into this world. God said you ain't brought nothing in here. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. Now let's get some more things that's pleasing to the Lord. Let's go to the book of Tobit, chapter 4. The book of Tobit, chapter 4. Well, I said chapter 4, verse 5. Verse 5. Yeah. My son, be mindful of the Lord our God all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin. Yeah, let not your sin will be set to sin, read. Or to transgress his commandments. Read. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. So he's teaching his son. Tobit is teaching his son how to please God. Read verse 6. Verse 6. For if thou deal truly, thy doing shall prosperly succeed to thee, and to all them that live just. Read. Give alms of thy substance. Hey, giving alms is pleasing to God. Read them. And when thou givest alms, let not thine eye be envious. He said, don't be stingy. Don't let your eye be envious. Read. Neither turn thy face from any poor. Read. And the face of God shall not be turned away from thee. The Most High want us to do good and help one another. We just read that in Hebrews 13 and 16. That's pleasing to the Lord. Give up. Help one another. Drill down to verse 12. Read. Verse 12. Beware of our order, my son. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. You need to take a wife. Marriage is honorable. That's pleasing to God when we take a wife. And not just any wife. Take a wife of the seed of thy father. Take a wife of your own nation. Interracial marriage is not pleasing to God. Read. 
and take not a strange woman away, which is not of thy father's tribe. Read. For we are the children of the prophets, nor Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all marry wives of their own kindred, and were blessed in their children, and their seed shall inherit the land. So when we sit up, that's pleasing to God for you to take a wife of your own people to get married. It's pleasing to God. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. Let not the wages of any man which have wrought for thee tarry with thee, but give him it out of hand. For if thou serve God, he will also repay thee. Be circumspect, my son, in all things thou doest, and be wise in all thy conversation. So when we deal rightly with our brother, that's pleasing to God. Verse 15. Verse 15. Do that to no man which thou hatest. Drink not wine to make thee drunk. Neither let drunkenness go with thee in thy journey. God said, look, don't get drunk. That's pleasing. Toba told his son, don't get drunk. That's pleasing to the Most High God. We're going to prove these things, read. Verse 16. Give up thy bread to the hungry. Okay, we already read that. We're dealing with our people. Jump on down to verse 21. Verse 21. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor. For thou hast much wealth, if thou fear God, and depart from all sin. And do that which is pleasing in his sight. See these things that Toba was teaching his son is pleasing in God's sight. So now let's go from there. Last scripture, 1 John 3 and 22. 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. Read. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Read. Because we keep his commandments. Because we keep his commandments. Y'all Christians can't get around that. You got to keep the commandments of God. Read. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Now you know those things that are pleasing in his sight. And guess what they lead right back to? The laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's why in Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 10, Solomon said, ask for wisdom to know what's pleasing. Seek what's pleasing to God. With that, y'all, we're going to say shalom, most high Christ bless. This 15 minutes with the captains. I pray I hope y'all enjoyed the topic. Stay strong, stay focused. With that, I'm going to say shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.